Hey everyone, The Zone of Interest is directed by Jonathan Glazer, who gave us the amazingly mysterious horror film Under the Skin in 2013. That was a film that showed, not told. He's back with a wartime drama, nearly 10 years on. One thing that's really interesting about this film is the rating. It got given a 12A in the UK. I can't really imagine a parent taking their 10 year old to see this. Set during the Holocaust, Rudolf Hoss raises his children along with his wife Hedwig next to Auschwitz. This is a film that is the opposite. It tells, not shows, which I'm really glad about. A bit of a weird watch, this one. It's not a film you can come out and say, oh, I enjoyed that, but it is good. The writing is good, the acting is good, and it's really well shot. Nothing much really happens in terms of plot. There's no big dramatic scenes, but my interest stayed the same as from beginning to end. The pacing was really good. It kind of stayed the same throughout. I got annoyed throughout the course of the story, as everybody should really. There's a couple of scenes where the officers are discussing their plans and talk about the Chambers and the Jewess. The Holocaust is one of the most disgusting events to ever happen. 700,000 innocent people lost their lives for nothing in a really horrid way. This is why this is a really harrowing drama. The way they talk as is just a normality and you see scenes where kids are playing in the garden just over for a wall from where it's all happening. Rudolph's wife doesn't want to leave and says it's a great home for their children which is just bizarre. You can hear the chambers being lit. You can hear the screams and the gunshots. Some of the kids struggle to sleep at night. How can she really think that this is a happy life? It's mental. There's no moral dilemmas in the story, which I thought there would be. They take their emotions out completely and see it as a thing they just need to do. I'm going to give the zone of interest an 8 out of 10. Not completely gripping wartime drama, but it is a well-told story with good acting, writing and pacing. Let me know if you've seen it and your thoughts on it. Like and subscribe. Take care.